Doja Cat. The hype. So is Derby You're gonna run away anyway. What's up, people? Captain Asthma back again. This was supposed to be a one part video. We had another technical malfunction. We won't say what happened, but <laughs> an incorrect button was pressed, you know. Dexter's lab style for those that are in my era. Right, blow drying. <laughs> First of all, a thorough rough dry. I'm sure people will disagree with the things I say, but don't try and put a brush through it straight away. Go. It's not going to be friendly for the child. Okay. Here comes the noise! Okay. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm okay, and you? I'm good. Okay. Your hands have to be resilient. So as not to scold the child, you burn your hand all the time. Wonderful. <laughs> Okay, that would be my stage number one. I would say. 50 to like 25% dry. Yeah, 25 to 30% dry. Now we start trying to get the brush through. I have no professional experience. I just had long hair for a period of time, so. It wasn't long like you, but it was long enough that I had to figure out how to shape and style and get a brush through without ripping my brain out. Also, it was like green and green and different colours. It wasn't always different colours, sometimes I was normal. Is that different colours? <laughs> yeah, but that's why it's all gone now. Yeah, but it's also gone You decided that. Yeah, but my hair was all destroyed and damaged from all the bleaching to put in the funny colors. There we go. Brushing number one, running through smoothly. And as I said before, here comes the noise!
Okay, there's my stage two. It is guaranteed to cause a lot more tangles, but without it, the hair sits all flat. Like you want it nice and straight, but you need a bit of bounce. So to create the bounce, you have to blow dry it upwards, so it's, it sort of gets that curve. It all works out in the end. Probably sound like a complete moron to any hairstylist listening. That's cool. Mm. I'm big enough to kick your ass. <laughs> See lots and lots. So we go through little by little. If, there were, if it was her mom, there would be a lot of hold still, Isabel. She brushes very hard. She's like, Meh. She apologizes. Come on, spend life apologizing for things. Okay, head back, come along your nice straight lines here. I'd say we're about 85% dry now. Is there any spray stuff we're supposed to put in your hair anymore? Um, hold on. Just hold on. The youth of today. One man alone wow. with a brush in his hand. You do know your mom took her bag with her because she's got a client. Okay, so I cannot find the little gold bottle we can use. That's because your mom took her bag, she has a client. Okay, so there's no spray stuff then. Oh, you look very upset about that. Because it makes your hair soft. Okay, let's see how the blow dry does. Maybe your hair will still be soft. Head back. Probably. Here comes the noise!
I am mildly ambidextrous because in the beginning of COVID lockdown last year, I had a temper problem and smashed my hand and had to learn how to homeschool the children with my left hand. I pulled it off pretty well too. Big words for such a little people. But the little people learned the big words. So give it a shake around and a push back. And then push it back. Is it soft? It's not soft. <laughs> not soft. But it's clean. But it's clean. It feels oily. It feels oily. But I'm pretty sure that's my hand. <laughs> Might have been my hands though. Oil. Otherwise, we can send it for another wash. It's definitely nice and straight and shiny. And I will not wash. <laughs> there we go. Captain Aspen knows how to blow dry hair as well. And you are sweating. Yeah, it's a good job I'm not a stylist. I actually have broken a sweat on that one. And so, if any single dads watch this video, I hope it helps. Peace out, people. Michelle.